Okay, uh, today I'm doing the first part of my training series in the issue 25T. Uh, let's see how it goes. We start with aircraft, start up, taxi and take off. Here you see we are in the cockpit now. This is my, uh, your mission overview, your mission data, your objective. Objective is to start up the SU-25 T taxi to the runway and take off. So then, then you can end, end the training session. Welcome to the SU-25 T Frog Foot. The Frog Foot, also called the Gradge, is a very capable ground attack aircraft that can destroy most anything on the battlefield. Before we start blowing things up, though, let's first learn how to start up this bird and taxi to the runway. You can the first thing we'll ask you to do is turn on the electrical power by, by pressing right, right shift and L. With the electrical power now engaged, you can see that the heads-up display, or HUD, comes to life, as well as many instruments and cockpit lights. Before moving the aircraft, Make sure that more than three minutes have elapsed in order to let the horizontal situation indicate the line properly. Right control and L. Now that we have power, let's turn on the navigation lights by pressing right control and L. I did that. Okay. Now we Next, let's button. close the canopy by pressing left control and C. Left control and C. Okay. Our next step is to start our two engines. Before you do so, make sure your throttle controller has a zero power setting. Start the left engine by pressing right, alt, and home. Okay, let's start the first engine right, alt, and home. With the left engine started, press right, control, and home to start the right engine. Left, the right engine, the right, control, and home. Off the lower left corner of the TV display is the engine Both gauge, with needles marked 1 now. and 2 for the two engines. When an engine is being started, one of the two green lights below the gauge will light. Once the light turns off, it indicates that the engine is ready for operation. In the lower left corner of the dash is an aircraft symbol that indicates the status of your flaps, landing gear, and air brake. Lower your flaps Second, to the takeoff position by there, pressing you know, left shift and F. The are well. That's it. Now for the flap. Lower your flap takeoff position by pressing left shift and F. We're now ready to taxi, so slowly increase the throttles by moving the throttle control forward or pressing page up. To reduce throttle, use your throttle controller or press page down. To use the wheel brakes, press W. Start rolling forward and turn to the left of the taxiway ahead. Press Z to steer left and press X to steer right. Nice job, now heading in the right direction. Keep your taxi speed around 10 km per hour. As you taxi, do small, smooth rudder corrections to keep you aligned on the center of the taxiway. Use the throttle a bit just to make up for the last turn to the right and then to move At the four, to the hang a right to reach the runway. Of the runway. Now 
As we taxi, we can go to external view by pressing F2 and return to the cockpit by pressing F1. You can zoom in and out using the keypad star and forward slash keys. Rotate the views using the keypad directional keys. Taxi taking off. You can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key.